welcome, welcome, welcome. This is episode four. And I'll tell you now, last episode blew my mind. I'm still not over the mental abuse I had encountered, but it is a part of the job of being a Jedi. Now with all that being said guys, she's dead. The bitch is dead. Cause Gabs, we had to do it for Gabs and the twins. We avenged them just like any respecting Jedi would do. And without further ado, I bring to you Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And as you can tell, he looks a little bit different, Danny. Yes, I customized him a little bit. Literally, just before I started recording, I just wanted to fiddle about with it because I got caught up in the action too much and all that nonsense. But, yeah, I'm going for the red look. As you know, my theme is like red, blue, and white. That's my theme color. And I think he looks great in white and red. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that sexy motherfucker. Anyway. But just before I go any further, as I got caught up in all the action, I actually forgot to um check out all this, the data. You know, so we're gonna go one by one and just have a little bit of a read and a and a good old mention, shall we? And we're gonna start off with a uh, BD one or AK. What's up, BD? You sexy little thing. Anyway, he's very useful, by the way. Not taking the piss. I love that guy. Just like a dog. Very loyal. Anyway. After working together for years, DB1 and Cal's bond has only grown. Equipped with an assortment of exploration tools and an unshakable loyalty to Cal. DB is the Jedi's closest friend. Now that is absolutely adorable. That's so sweet. <laughs> Uh, and while I'm reading, if I do mess up a few times, it's only natural because I don't like reading out loud. Simple as that. That's just me. So be kind. <laughs> At least I'm trying. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and I've got a uh, I've got a fact, and I do believe it's a fact. But I tell you in a little bit. I'm gonna read this, then I'll tell you what I've come up with. And I think you'll be very interested too, considering what last series I've been playing. Huh? Just think about that. A freelance gunslinger with no love for the Empire. Bode is the most recent member of Cal's crew. Of course. He reveals to Cal that what he's really fighting for is a better life for him and his daughter. Life for his daughter, Kata. That's sweet. That's sweet. I love that. I love that. No, not just I kill for money. It's like I kill for money, but not necessarily for me, you know. So I can give a better life to my daughter. So we got Bravo. I don't know much about this guy, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping I do. The pilot of Cal's crew. Bravo is a veteran soldier who fought alongside Saw Guerrero? Eh? Eh? Cal and Bravo have run many successful missions together in their struggle against the Empire. Okay. Still don't know much about him. Apart from they're very good pals. That's all I can really see from that. A okay, 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 this is this is okay, okay, let's go. After years of living on the run and fighting the Empire, Cal Castus has hardened into the fierce Jedi warrior. He is today. I felt like adding that on. He leads a crew of outlaws on a daring heist organized by Saw Guerrero. As they attempt to steal military intel from the corrupt imp 
Imperial Senator. They hope that the information that the Senator carries will give them a fighting chance against the ever-expanding Empire. That's what we got to do. Ah, gabs, man. Bro. Ah. I liked her as well. She was cool. Oh, well. A syndicate trained slicer. Gabs doesn't mind enriching herself while taking on the Empire. I got that from her. Wow. She likes the credits. She likes the money. It's what motivates her. <laughs> uh, typical. Confident and gutsy. Gabs takes every opportunity to demonstrate her superiority over Imperial Slices. I get that. I got that from um the few but very meaningful dialogue exchanges we had. Bitch. Um nah, now we go back to that. <laughs> Masana Tithe, known as the ninth sister of the Inquisitors. Craved revenge after being defeated by Cal years before. Wow. Still got fucked up. Ha! Pussy! Disclaimer, it took me ten times. That It took me nine times and it took me the tenth try to finally defeat her. Senator... Dal Zajian? What did he say? <clears throat> With one foot in the Wow. Underworld. Wow. Wow. Is a political actor who <laughs> who seeks favor with the Imperia by any means necessary. Rumors Persist of ruthless negotiations aboard Senator Zajian's senior Ramsey class yacht. Well, fuck me. That was atrocious. And I'm going to leave it in there so all you get to see how intelligent I am. <laughs> Moving on. Coop and Liz. The Clatoonian twins, Coop and Liz, would do anything for their friend Cal. Oh, and that's sweet. Their loyalty is only matched by their insatiable hunger, which often gets them into trouble. Ah. You could say they bit off more than they could chew in this one. Anyway, let's get it. Thanks, Bravo. On the line. I'm not liking this. It looks like a fight. Our Earth Bravo is under shoot like that. Oh, my man. You okay? <laughs> See madness. Got a little more fight in you, Kestis? I didn't think so. 
I don't know about you, Ben, but... There we go. I'm okay. I'm not too sure how well I did. I, I'm still, I'm still learning. Sorry, I'm still learning. How far does that try to get better? Nice. That one's all yours, Boat. Had a hunch this might be a hot exit. See you both in the air. Ready? Oh, it's been a great first date and all, but I still haven't gotten paid. Locator beacon. Got the other on the mantis. When things cool off, come and find me. We'll settle up. Yeah. Sure, I can trust you. You saw the intel. A lot more work to be done. Looks like I made the cut, huh, BD? <laughs> Boat? May the force be with you. You're a great fighter, Cal. Let's see how well you fly. Wait, what? Am my control in it? Because I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to... I'll fuck this ship up. <laughs> I'm hoping this is a whole cutscene. Oh. Ah, uh, of course. Whatever it is, I'll have to wait until we get someplace safe. Oh, no, don't do this. I'm gonna keep my hands on my controller just in case. Oh, okay, the they're with us. I thought they were against us. Gotta take the risk. We've already overstayed our welcome. Stay together, guys. We've got company. We don't need any more questions. Come on. On my mark, hit the brakes. We'll drop behind him. Copy that, Bravo. Oh, look at that app. Brilliant, love it. Nice work, everyone. Hope that's the last of them. Had a fan of long goodbyes. More coming. I'll peel off, drop you away. Thanks, Boat. Good luck. You too, Cal. See you soon. some hits back there. Mind running diagnostics while I transmit the intel? Jedi Archive. That's great, Seer. Just wish 
we could have stopped the Empire from getting the rest. Patience. This war won't be won soon. War by us alone. Hey. The galaxy is vast, Troid. And I have seen only a little of what it has to offer. I like Meryn. I do. But she is day, so cool. I will return to Dathomir. I, I wish you could have, have um, to my hung about sisters. with us more. Like a second companion. I would love that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. Oh, you there's know, it's more. Not often I break out an old family recipe like this. Well, what do you think? But it's good. Could use some more salt. Too much salt is bad for you. It's wonderful, Grace. Huh? I'd actually pay credits for this. Oh, yeah? Hey, I might start charging you, Cal. <laughs> hey, does anybody else smell something burning? Got my fairies. I've Gyros already got my fairies. We need that. Uh, any ports nearby that won't turn us in for a reward? <laughs> yeah. Pull up the cocoa system. That's where you settle down. Out in the middle of nowhere. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Think we can make it? Okay. We should tidy up before we visit Grease. <laughs> you know how he is about mess. Uh, I'm not gonna go anywhere there yet. I wanna explore a little bit more if you don't mind. I love to explore. But just before we do anything else, just before, what I was on about earlier about um, Bode, he sounds just like, or very similar, but for me it's spot on. He sounds just like Charles from Red Dead Redemption 2. Sounds just like Charles. And if it's the same voice actor, oh, that's brilliant. That's cheered me up. That's that's oh, that's mad. Love it. And also, also, Cal and Mirren seem like they was getting a little, little friendly. You know, maybe not too much. No, but just uh. I felt like they there's there may be something there, you know. That that there's a lot of trust between each other. I think that's great. Excuse me. You saying we can fix him up? Whoa 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 whoa. whoa. I don't. <gasps> Sorry. I got a little bit excited there. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Let's get this back on the workbench. Give me the workbench right this second. Now, please, sir. Thank you very much. And all that. Oh, no. Is it? Is it? Well, it has to be. It's the only place that's letting me go. Stop. I'm going to be here for hours. Not gonna lie. Oh my Try god, I could spend so much time. I could spend so much time here. Oh, these little things I just love. This is this is my shit.
Oh, what? There's a... Oh my god. First, we do... Wait, lightsaber and stances. How can you... Okay. We go back to that. Stat... I get the other two, but how could you, like... Yeah, wait. We'll we get there. I wanna... I wanna see this little guy first. I prefer that. I like the ears. It, it, it's cute. Body. I like the, the the white and red anyway, so if that's what I got, yeah. Obviously, I haven't got a lot for him yet. I think that's that, really. I'm good. Oh, shit. I think we're going to give him four red, okay? And... We're gonna shine this sun bitch up. I've applied. Go back. Um. Assuming this is the second body. Wait, what? Um. Yeah, I wanted to swap the colours. I wanted the majority to be red and then leave the white stripes. <laughs> um, but I laugh because there's a band called White Stripes. Just in case you didn't get the reference. It's okay if you didn't. Oh, secondary. Oh, let's stick to white. Uh, I'm sorry, but my man, well kept, pristine. Ah, you're pristine, mate. This one I'm going to go for blue, I think. Give you like a blue body, blue head. Because that's like, the red, blue and white is my shit, you know. So, that's... Do you know what? You are a G. Yeah, you are a G. I'm pretty proud of this one. Ah, me too. Look at you, baby. I'm not gonna go for stats just because I'm. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you, baby. I get you. Oh, wow. Only got two? That sucks, but I'll go for that one. Whoa. Hmm. Nothing. Shame. Nothing. Shame. Be like a bow. Okay. All right then. I need to get a whole lot. Oh, that's double blade. Um. Let's see how it handles. Is there no colors for this? I got that, but is there no colors? Oh, damn. I could go in for. Polish that shit up, go for gold, have a thing for like gold, or at least, um, you know, what it's supposed to be in a way. What's that? Yeah. 
Electrum plated. Electrum. Electrum. Fucking hell, God. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, cool. <laughs> okay. Um, secondary color. All gold. I like the white. The white. The white looks good. Polished out too. Um, if we go for the white too, grip. Well, I don't know. I like that. Just because it's less. I don't want that. It's just, it seems really rusty, right? So it's going to have to be these two here. Chrome looks more whiter. Whiter. Um, it's going to have to be gold or the uh, or chrome. Is that. Chromium, you have to be the uh, well, gold and white. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know, these, you know now, you now know these are white and gold. I'm not gonna keep saying their names. Screw it for now. I'm gonna go for that color just because it's easier. Um. Oh. It works. It looks great. I can move it about. Damn, bro. I forgot. Okay. They haven't got the colour I want. Unless that I'm like a Sith Lord. Yes. If I had a choice to pick red, you bet your sweet ass I'm picking red. You can you can have red and be a good person? Come on. But as I can't pick my favourite colour. Green looks sexy, not gonna lie. Green looks very sexy. Um It's basically a turquoise, isn't it? That's a blue. Like a turquoise. Pink. I probably can't hear it properly, but some actually sound different to the other ones. Orange is alright. So I like white, but white white is very generic. I really like green. The thing is I like blue. I would pick blue, because obviously you're thinking, well why wouldn't I pick blue considering I like red, blue, and white. Yes, blue is a better colour than white. But the reason why I have, I have a problem with blue is because everyone's going to use blue and green. That's what it's known for in the movie. So really, that is the most generic thing you could pick. The most generic thing you could pick. You know. That's why. But they are the two best colours, aren't they? Blue and green. White. Oh, God. White is... I don't know. I think about trying white for a little bit. You know, for a little bit. But I feel like once we've got off this ship, I'm going to have it for a while. I have a feeling. So I'm probably going to pick... But yellow with the gold. I hate when they give you options like this. If they had red, I would have picked red and there wouldn't have been an argument. There wouldn't have been any of this. So I would have picked red. I wouldn't even need to think about it. I would have picked red. Done. Um, shit. Okay. This is too much. Decisions. I hate these decisions. I, I could be very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, very, uh, undecisive. I'm that kind of person. If, if you give me multiple options, I'm going to really think about it in depth. That's me. That's me, I'm an, I'm an in-depth thinker. And it screws me, like, right now. I'm sorry if I'm taking a long time. I do apologise. Maybe this is what this episode's about. You know, this. Okay, just for now, I might pick, um... 
If it's not blue, I'll go for that colour. That'll do. It's not quite what I want. Fuck it, do you know what's rare? This one's ready to go. Having an all gold yellow lightsaber. I'm just staying, bitches. We're almost there. Let's head up to the cockpit. Man, look at this. Fucking swag. Man, I got so much swag, baby. Damn, I'm just... So much swag, dog. Yes, let me rest. Um, do I have any? I have two skill points. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna upgrade. I don't know. Because I want my health. Health, for me, is very important in this game. Considering if you're like me and you fight like a bitch. And you're still learning. Because I am. I am I am a Star Wars noob. Not by films or my knowledge. I'm very knowledgeable about anything Star Wars. Thank you very much. I'm very knowledgeable. Just purely the game. I've not played... Not played... A game since 2005 as you know revenge of the sith was the last game i physically played so watching people play the game and playing it yourself is completely different so yes i'm probably a star wars gaming noob we got a little thing there as you can tell um is there gonna be a fourth one how would you make a fourth stance you got a single got a double and then you've got duels. What the hell would a four one be? What? The only thing I can think of, which I doubt it, would be, you know, one of the newer movies. Um, I think it was basically Kylo Ren's Blade. Yeah. Where it was like a cross. I mean, for me, that's goofy as fuck. Coolest one for me is a double blade. Ever since... Darth Maul pulled that shit out. I've never been so like. In my life. Apart from you when you see, you know, Anakin Skywalker walking down on that hood and stuff with his with his evil eyes and stuff and that and that lightsaber. Oh god, I had such a good feeling in my heart. Yes, yes, yes. I know he's a Sith and all that, but I don't care. Anakin's the fucking goat, man. The goat. You, you have your favourites? I have mine. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. Um, improved. I've already got this, haven't I? Yeah. Um, I've done quite a bit on here. So I could get this one. Which should be what? Reduces time required to heal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's... I'm okay with the speed right now. Currently, I haven't got. I have got that. I said learn. Do you not? Know I get it now. I get what's going on now. I get it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I already got that. Yep. Yeah. I just realised I'm, I'm a muppet, so we were just um. It says I got two. And I've been prattling about. I can't get that until that, so additional life is what I need. To be honest, I ain't gonna mess about with that. Yeah, it lit up, so I thought I already had it. Oh god. Um. Hold to automatically evade incoming melee attacks. I thought that'd be. That looks absolute gangster. One skill point available. Yeah. Oh, this takes two. You know, I'm gonna chill. I think the best thing for me to do is chill and um, actually yeah, I'm gonna chill and if I can get an extra one I might go after that because that's that's pretty that's pretty cool let's interact with this one I know this has been going on for a while and I know there's not a lot of action that's happened just yet uh, 
I do apologise. But maybe this is just a bit of a chill episode, you know? Haven't used these since the scrapyard on Braca. Brock gave them to me. Cordova's toolbox from Bogano. Most of his things are probably still there, waiting for someone. This Shio bird's feather is supposed to bring good luck. There's Grease's salt shaker. Where did I put the pepper? Every day I wonder if I made the right call. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Let's just see what our next destination is. That was loud in my ears. Kaboom. So far so good. What is that? Land. Systems failing all over. Guy, I think. We're starting sublet engines. Nice one, buddy. Oh, wow. We're not gonna make it to the hangar. We got a bird down. Hold on, baby. Oh, you're gonna crash it yet? No! Flying again without repairs. Okay, this is us. This must be the outpost. I guess we finally get to see Grace's cantina. Okay, come on. I don't want to be a bummer or anything, but I might leave this here. So then the next episode, we can explore this whole place together. So it's all one video. I mean, I was thinking about it because the video was taking its time with, um, with the added on customizations to everything. I mean, I got carried away completely. I mean, think of it this way. Next episode, you will finally be able to see this bad boy lightsaber in action for the whole episode now doesn't that sound fun because hey things happen look at oh, look at you looking at that bad boy oh my god wow but yeah i want to say thank you for hanging out with me i know it wasn't the most exciting episode of all time but um like i said i want to take my time with this game so you won't be missing anything. Just means you may have to wait a little bit longer for the next episode. And I'll be banging these out every day. Definitely weekdays. Definitely every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Until this game is completed. I can assure you. And if you did enjoy this episode. Please smash that thumbs up. It goes a long way. I don't ask for the world. Just ask for the bare minimum. You know. I'm trying to deliver great content. And... Only you guys will be the judge of it. Simple as that, you know? I'm not the one in charge. I just try and do my thing. And it's either good or it's bad. Please, let it be good. 
So until next time, <laughs> stay safe, guys, and I will catch you in the next one.